What's up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here. We are back in the world of Big Dig. And after showing off Meaty's base, I feel a little jealous. So we're going to start working on ours a little bit. Um, but we have a couple things that we want to fix. Number one, I want to fix this because it's only a matter of time till we're out of oil. And once we run out of oil, we're screwed. Number two, I want to get our crafting station set up to where we're not dealing with... Um, massive amounts of crafting issues. So to get the crafting set up, uh, if I remember right, there's a crafting CPU, there's the heating vent, there's the assembler containment walls. Uh, the assembler containment walls are what we need for the outside of the pack. So let's, uh, let's see, that's gold, quartz, and iron. So we're going to need 4x4, four four, so that's uh, 16 plus 16, that's 32, plus uh, 2, 4, 6, 8. So I need 40 of these. So let's do iron. As you can see, we've got a decent amount of iron. Uh, let's do some gold. I don't think I need quite as much gold, but we have plenty of that as well. And then quartz. We're going to need a lot of quartz. So we'll go ahead and pull a decent amount of quartz out. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the containment walls. Right there, that's 32. Well, shit. Almost had enough. Not quite. Good God, that's a lot of resources. So we need some more gold and iron then. Damn. I thought I pulled out more than enough, but apparently not. Okay, let's get the iron. Let's go ahead and pop a bunch of this out real quick. There we go. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. Too many. Oh, well. That's fine. No worries. Okay. So now we need um, the heating vents. So we're going to need, f uh, let's see, by four by four. I think that's going to leave us, well, let's build it first. Then I'll know exactly. Whoa. I don't know exactly how many I need. All right, so with a four by four wall, I'm gonna bring us a little bit away from the wall so I have a little bit of room back there to work. So that's one, two, three, four. Shit. Okay, one, two, three. All right, and then we go up three. One, two, three. Same here. Now this, very similar to the tank, is just the outer side of this little monster. There we go. And I love this cube. This cube, you guys will love it too. Uh, if you've watched my old series and you know why they're so awesome. Okay, and so with this, we've got four walls on each side and there are one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So we need 24 heating vents. Now the heating vents are, where are the little monsters? Right here, give me heating vents. So we're gonna need a lot of iron. Oh my God, that's a lot of iron. All right, let's pull out a lot more iron. Now the nice thing about this is it's gonna allow us to pre, wait, was that, was that actually gates already? I actually had some gates, nice. This will allow us to automate any crafting in the game. And since we're going to be moving towards a lot of more complicated recipes over the next couple of days, um, this is just going to make things a little bit easier on me to where instead of having to actually go through like we're doing now, I'll just make it once and then from then on we can basically make it as many times as we need to. All right, so Emmy Cables, the recipe for this I believe is Quart, okay, so it's Redstone and Quartz and Glass. So Redstone about two of those and then some quartz how about some of that and then we need glass all right oh that's right I gotta make the actual cable first huh guess that would help all right let's make Let's see, we need one for each. We need, what was it that I said? Uh, four times four is 16 plus eight, um, 24. So we need 24. 
one, two, three, four, five. So there we go. And then from here, we just want to make this right here. So that gives us enough for 20. What the hell? Okay. Got our 24 there. And then I think we're good enough here. That's enough for 19. So we're going to need more. Yeah, we're going to need more iron walls. So that's 19. Uh, that's actually perfect. 24. All right, let's go put these on real quick. Now these right here have to be used on the tops and the sides. And I hope I remember the right way to do this. Whoops, right here. There we go. So now that we've got this thing sealed up, we need to put something on the inside. We need four um, pattern holders, I think it is. Crafting CPUs and I think it's, oh God, I don't remember. I do not remember the other part. All right, let's go ahead and make the crafting CPUs. I know for a fact it's those. And then I'll have to uh, pull up the wiki real quick to see what the other side is. Because I want to say it's the crafting monitor that I need. But I'm not sure. Anybody on the stream happen to know what the other side it is that we have to put inside here? Alright, so I need diamonds, silicone. Oh, let's come over here. I'm just going to need four of these. Well, I know it's crafting CPU. What's the other side? It's four crafting CPUs and four... Is it the pattern thingies? I, I keep forgetting. Okay, while I'm waiting on that to go, I'm going to go get our quartz cutter out of the wall here. Pattern providers. Pattern provider sounds about right. And I think we're going to need diamonds to go with this as well. So just pull out four diamonds real quick, which we have plenty of. All right, so our four crafting CPUs. Whoops, wrong button. Perfect. One. Okay, fine. Don't know why this recipe is funky like this, but it is, and it's annoying. All right, let's come over here and put these four in here real quick. All right, so while we're waiting on that, let me look at the pattern provider. Uh, Emmy pattern, there it is, pattern providers. What do we need for these? We need the same thing. So I need to make four more of those. So we'll come in here. And there we go. And I should just about have these done. But the nice thing about this system is we'll just have to, from this point on, all you have to do from here on out is basically create um, the initial pattern or the initial recipe. And then once the initial recipe is done, you're good to go. All right, so we need the ME crafting computer or crafting CPU oh glowstone I don't think I have glowstone dust in fact I'm 99% sure I don't have glowstone dust uh, do we have a minium stone I do have a minium stone I'm pretty sure there's a way for me to make it from this um, let me pull my minium stone out god I hope there is Uh, gloat mall, obviously. That is gold dust. So gold dust and redstone. Okay. Gold, pulverized gold. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, I 
I think it was like that, wasn't it? Yep. And that gets us one glowstone dust. Go ahead and make a few of these. That's why I love these mods. They give you a lot of other recipes and such to where you can make some of these harder to find things. Uh, I'm going to need one more of those, unfortunately. Which means we need to pulverize some gold without it going through our system. So, gold ore, we should have plenty of, yes. Let's, uh, this will be very easy to do. What we're going to do is pop this out, pop you in. Come up here, we'll go ahead and feed you back up into the system. And then we can yank um, that out. Come on, give me some gold. There we go, five. Seven. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this dust on into the machine. I won't need it for now, and we'll be automating that side of things here in a bit. 11 should be sufficient. Okay, so let's make a couple more dusts. There we go. Whoops. All right, so now that we've got our five dusts, I think that will be enough for us to make our crafting computers. I hope, I don't even remember how many it wanted. Oh, it wants two a piece. I've got, that's enough for four, right? No, two, no, I need, I need eight. Shit. Oh well, no big deal. It couldn't be easy, damn it. Well, this recipe uses a hell of a lot of redstone. There we go. Now we have enough for our four. Okay. So now we've got everything we need for that. Let's open the recipe up. And we need four. And there we go. There's our four little crafting CPUs. So what we do is we come over here, place bam, 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 bam. And then we can put these on this side. And now we need to make, I should have gotten our four silicon back out. Now we're making the pattern provider, which is easily found by simply pressing that. There we go. Let's make our little diamond chip. I'm sorry if you guys can hear guitar in the background. My brother has decided now is a great time to uh, rock out with his guitar. So we need four of these. So that's going to be four on each side. There we go. Hopefully the mic's not picking it up. Am I doing this wrong? Oh, no. There we go. I don't think the mic's picking it up, but you might be able to hear it. Uh, here we go. All right, so we're going to let those cook. While we're waiting on the pattern provider to cook, we need to make some of these. These are based off the gold version, so we're going to need to make... I'm just going to put a hole... Let's see. We're going to do... 16 in you, and we'll do 16 in you because I'm tired of coming back over here to flip that over and over and over again. Um, I should have plenty of gold. I'm going to go ahead and pull this gold dust out. We're going to put it in the machine here in the off chance that we need it here in a bit. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, so we need, we need gold for that, and then we need gold for that. So we're going to need three of those, three times four. That's uh, 12. So we need 12 of those. That's a shit ton. We're going to need a lot more redstone. It's a good thing I set up those three quarries over the past couple days. Otherwise, we would be in some trouble. Okay, so we got our diamonds. Uh, we're about halfway what we need on these. Go ahead and put another one in here. Yeah, and once this machine system is up, for those of you guys who watched um, Meaty's Base or you maybe watched last season's episodes, 
once you get this thing going it's absolutely ridiculous you you really don't have any problems with anything ever again all right so we're gonna put you there we got plenty of ingots we're gonna split you on both sides thankfully our quartz cutting knife is holding up that gives us not waiting what am i oh redstone i feel like what the hell there we go 12. all right three in you three in you i need to get a better furnace system going that's the other thing we're gonna be working on we're gonna start kicking up our um our ic2 stuff which will give us faster furnaces faster just about everything. We're gonna get a rotary macerator set up. Either we, we may actually stick with the vanilla macerators. They're about as fast once they're overclocked and a hell of a lot less expensive. There we go. But the nice thing is right now, as long as this has taken me to make and as complicated as this is, once we've got this system created, I will simply just ask the machine to make it and it will make all of these sub steps for me and I won't have to do it. Now, obviously, I'll actually have to come over here and craft these aspects, but as long as you provide uh, the materials for it, it can create all the subcomponents. So I would, all I would have to do is spit some of this into a furnace and it can technically do all of that for me as well. So it's, it's absolutely amazing. Okay, so we need two of these per unit. So that's what, four times, that's eight. So we need eight of these. Why didn't that fill up? That's really weird. Oh well. I think I misclicked it. Let's try that again. There we go. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we click over here, click on this, and then I need four of these, which we, what are we missing? Oh, apparently we are crashing our client. All right, so back after the crash, hopefully the uh, game will be nice to me from here on. Let's try that again. There we go, there's our four, which is what we need. So we now got our four of these and our eight of those. Now we just need to make four crafting tables real quick, right? Yeah, four crafting tables. I don't think I have any crafting tables in here, do I? I have one, so we only need two now. So let's make some wood. Just pull out a stack real fast. There we go. Now we make our patterns. There's our four. Bring these over here. And bam, bam. Whoops, no, wrong one. Shit. Okay, move you. Down we go. Let's try this again. A little less failing this time. There we go. There we go. You can see how the machine completed once we did that. Now we just put this in here, drop that. Let's go ahead and cycle most of this back in here. Now, now that we've done this, we need to get another machine going so that we can, I think it's pattern encoder. Yes, pattern encoder is what we need. So what do we need to make for the pattern encoder? That's pretty easy, well, for the most part. Let's go ahead and pull out um, iron, wood, quartz, both kinds, gold, and redstone. There we go. I think that's everything we'll need for it. All right, so come over here. Let's grab our chest real fast. Now this thing right here is actually going to allow us to store the recipes. Uh, prior to this we can't, um, there's no way for us to, to really get them going. So we need to make one more of these little monsters. thought I put enough of that stuff. There we go. Alright, good to go. 
Prior to making this, I mean, now that we've got the crafting thing, it doesn't do us any good though until we get one of, uh, until we actually get some recipes in it. And you can't just put recipes in it. You have to actually have a machine that will more or less stamp the pattern. If you're familiar with project tables, which I think are from IC2, it's very similar to the process, except you don't have to go get ink and, and do it that way, but it's, it's almost identical to the process. All right, so the pattern encoder, we now have everything we need, I believe, for it. There we go. Pull that out. And there's our pattern encoder. So we're gonna bring this, and I'm gonna set this up in the back. Um, we'll set it right next to the machine. Now we need to make, we need to make the little recipe things, which look like these right here, little blank patterns. So to make these, oh God, we need a lot of glowstone. Oh, that sucks, because I absolutely hate glowstone. Your mom's a glowstone. That's my, that's my loving brother coming in. No, no. It's her slave. Fucker. That's all right. You're on YouTube, so tell everyone hi. All right. So now that we're back here, let's make some glowstone. We need a lot more gold dust, which thankfully I pulled out. And we've got some more redstone that we're going to need. Now, when we make this, we're going to actually make two of these. Um, reason why, well actually we're going to make a bunch of them, but we're going to start off with just making two for now. So let's come over here. We need to make two right off the bat, so let's make some glowstone. As much glowstone as we can freaking make. I'll be automating this recipe as well. That's 12. Uh, 12 will do. It's not ideal, but it'll do. And then we need some glass. Glass is the one thing I missed. All right, let's make two of them for now. Actually, we're just gonna make one. Okay, I'm making the one. The reason we're only making one is because I'm gonna make the rest of them in the pattern. So, all right, so we take the blank pattern, we put it here. Now, unfortunately, at least previously, you'll notice right here, we can't add any recipes. There's no question mark. And you can't, you can't see it. So you kind of have to remember your recipes, which is really one of the weaknesses, I think, of this mod, which I kind of don't like. But I believe it's one of the things he is working on. Now, you can see right here, this is the ME blank pattern. You can put anything you want in this recipe right here. If you do, and it's not a functional recipe, it won't actually work. So keep that in mind. So you need to be careful with it. But it, uh, it, it will suffice for what you need. So we've got the ME pattern. We're going to click in code. Now you can see we've got the ME pattern, and it's got it down below. So we'll go ahead and clear all this stuff out. We're going to open this thing up, and you can see we've got four pages here. Uh, the bigger you make your cube, the more storage you have. We have four storage chambers, therefore we get four setups. So we're going to put this, let's get this back on page one. We're going to put our little encoding thing here, and we're going to order, let's put some of this back in the system real fast. And we haven't connected our system yet, but I'll do that real fast all of this in here. So now we need to select ME cable. Got five of those. God, I hope that's enough. I don't think it is. It's going to be a tight fit. We're going to have to make some more cables. Two, three, four, five. Shite. Um, glass and quartz. Make a couple more cables real fast. I just want to demonstrate this for the people on YouTube, damn it. All right, pop that out. And of course, I would forget redstone. There we go. All right, so now we've got that set up. We can connect these two things. So bam. 
That's odd. I guess the encoder doesn't have to be connected. Either way. So now that we've got the machine, the, the machine set up, the crafting cube is good. We open this up and let's say we want some more ME squares. Now you're going to notice this thing has crafting enabled. Well, we can set this, you know, to two, you know, one, 10, 64, however many we want. We're just going to make two right now, I believe, because I think that's all we've got. I think that's all I've got the materials for. And you can see, we now have two in here. So I can pull these both out and it gives me the option to craft more. The more that you have going, the more simultaneous recipes that you guys can have running at one time. So you definitely want to kind of kick this up to run as many as you possibly can. So what we'll be using this for over the next couple days is to teach all the recipes that we need, uh, get them set up, and then we're going to be moving uh, to start working on some of the other uh, Specifically, we need to get some forestry machines going. And this is going to make this a lot easier for once we get into forestry because we won't have to mess with all the intricate recipes there. So, anyways, hopefully you guys are liking this series. If you do, please click the like button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.